Hey, hey, in this video, I would like to speak about how do I know that I'm in labor, in my labor of love. So first of all, ladies, babies and partners, you can't really miss the time when you go into labor. So when you go into labor, everything has to have a rhythm because only when things are in a rhythm, then things are happening. Now, sometimes in the weeks or days rather leading to the birth, you might have some niggling and a bit of contractions. You might think, yay, that's it. And then it stops. So don't be sad. Every little bit that uh, works for you is already something that you won't lose. But here's the thing. In nature, everything has truly a rhythm. And only when things are in a rhythm, things are happening. Now, a real contraction is going to last about 45 to 60 seconds. And only when your upper part of the belly is really contracting and your belly looks in a different shape, then you are really in labor. Now, some of you will have a uh, a slow onset of labor. So maybe, you know, it starts slowly, you feel a bit of this and that, a contraction here, a contraction there, but this is just the early sign. Some of you might have a wild onset, wild thing, mm -mm -mm, you make my birth sing, do, 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 do. So when you have a wild onset where it hits you like uh, every five minutes, every three minutes straight away, you really know that you are in labor. But some of you will have a slower onset where it's two contractions in one hour and then it kind of builds up and gets stronger and stronger. It will get stronger anyway because this lovely hormone called oxytocin is going to build up during this process of you giving birth. Now, here's the thing. First of all, it's really a good thing if everything is normal and if you feel fine to really stay home for a long time. Why? You don't want to sit in the hospital waiting for things to happen. Secondly, how do you know it's happening? Well, partners, open your ears. When your partner cannot speak anymore while having a contraction, then you know this is the real thing. One has to breathe while the body is working. Labor is like a woman. She wants to yeah, your attention. Like she says, I'm here. Please look at me and focus on me. So when you have regular frequent contractions, every three to five minutes apart, estimate 45 to 60 seconds, which is about three, four deep inhalations and exhalations, then you know it's happening. And that should happen over a time frame of say two, three hours. Now in doubt, you can always ring your midwife. If you do a home birth, your birth center or the hospital because often an experienced midwife will often from the sound of your voice know whether you're in labor or not. Now in doubt, okay, you can go and get yourself checked out. But if your cervix is not quite ready, you should definitely go home and relax at home while things are happening. So stay tuned. So here's the thing. First time moms, you need to have regular frequent contractions three to five minutes apart over two, three hours. And then it might be a good time to get yourself to your birthplace. Okay, stay tuned. Watch the next video. There's more to come because I will share what can you do? What can you do when you are in labor? Have a great pregnancy. And of course, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and tell me what are you doing and what are your thoughts about contractions?